Welcome back, it's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary and we are a co-op of nerds and today we are going to be showing you our pickups for June 2022. But before we begin, don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Right, this stack is, it might be a five footer, <laughs> but in my defense, it's it's got a big hunk of board games. He which claims is, that we don't get a package a day. That's not true. We do. Okay, then we should have. In fact, have, there was one day there were five. <clears throat> then we should have. It was seven technically 30. because two of them were not games, but five of them were games. And we should have 30 items, and we do not have 30 items. It's probably 30 items. Sundays they take a break, okay? <laughs> All right, let's start off with Super Nintendo. We got Excalibur 2097. Now, I have not, we got these fairly late in June, so I haven't had a, any time to check these out. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments if they're any good. Blackthorn. That one just looks metal as hell, don't it? <laughs> yeah. You can tell that's Jim Lee. Look at that. That's so look Jim up, Lee. Look at all the, mon the monsters in the background with their armor. <laughs> Scary. <clears throat> Ultima. Runes of Virtue 2. I'm not sure if that's Ultima 2, Runes of Virtue, or Ultima, Runes of Virtue 2. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> but the way it's written... Runes of Virtue 2? Right. But an Ultima's not even on that. Hmm. Top label, look at that. Uh, uh, there we go. Hmm. Sounds interesting. The dog is licking my calves. <laughs> People are setting off fireworks. He's scared. Mary does that all the time. She's not scared. I've been looking for this game probably since we started the channel. Maybe even before that. Yeah, you're super excited. Finally found it. I just threw my kid on the floor <laughs> and just grabbed it. Mutant League Hockey. The best hockey game on the Sega Genesis, fight me, NHL 94. To go with your Mutant League football. That's right. And there was a Mutant League ho or base uh, basketball okay. in the works, but it never got created. Hmm. I love that game. I've already won the Monster Cup in that game. So we got a couple of video games. Not many though. Oh, that's not like more. The quarry. Now I know Retro Rivals has a video on this. They said spoiler alert, so I have not watched it. But once we finish this, mm -hmm. we're gonna watch that video. Maybe do our own. I saw this one and our guy, Radical Reggie, is a big big fan of this game, so I had to try it out. Death Smiles for the 360. He's got really good tasting games. Yeah, we, we, me and Radical Reggie, we're probably best friends. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Draking Guard 2 for the PlayStation 2. So I think this is a uh, role playing game. Kind of more, maybe along uh, Samurai Warriors kind of vein. Okay. Looks a little. Switch between four characters with unique weapons and abilities. Engage in intense aerial combat. That might that might kill me right there. <laughs> I suck at dogfighting games. Lay waste to entire armies on the ground and in the air. Uh, so that kind of makes me think of that is. Samurai Warriors. And a brand new game, hot off the press. 
oxide room 104. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember the number. A terrifying experience inside an old motel. That looks scary. A twisted doctor holding you captive. You make choices. You make the right ones to survive. A hideous creature stalking you, waiting for your mistakes. Hmm. Ooh. That's like Saw. Yeah. Kind of makes me think of Saw or Hostel. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Hostel. When it first came out, I was into them. And I just, I kind of fell off the whole torture porn kind of uh, train there. So, yeah. I think I got We're rid of ours. Yeah. I want, a, I want a better story. The stories <laughs> on that wasn't very good. In Search of Tomorrow. Now we have uh, In Search of Darkness Parts 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Basic Angry video game nerd. Right. He was in both those. I think Part 3 is in the making. I think there's that advertisement in the packaging with this so they basically just it's a documentary where they talk about mainly films from the 80s some mm -hmm. 70s some 90s but mainly 80s um, and this one's gonna be the sci-fi so basically I I want to watch these with literally a pencil and paper mm -hmm. that's how old I am and just type the names of the movies yeah. because so I want to see them all. To watch. right and this one I got for Mary. Thank you very much. I'm not sure how to do this. I Love Lucy seasons two, three, four, five. Boom. So we have season one. Yep. And it goes up to, to six. Six, six seasons, so we have one more season to get. Yeah, one more season to find. We found all these at half price books one yep. day. And so picked up the whole, the whole lot of them. It's just funny comedy. It's just I've never clean, seen funny comedy. Plain funny comedy. Yeah. I, I've seen lots of parodies of it, but I don't think I've actually ever seen because I didn't have Nickelodeon and it was on Nick at Night. So I have very little it's, experience it's with pretty I love funny. Lucy. I used to watch. Uh, well, we did have cable growing up, and so we did have Nickelodeon and Nick at Night, and I would mm. watch that on Nick at Night. And I really I. I enjoyed all of the older shows, so I enjoyed that. Bewitched, I Dream of Jeannie. Well, Andy Griffith. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Andy Griffith, but they didn't play Andy Griffith a lot on Naked Night. They played that more on PBS. Mm. Andy Griffith's too wholesome for Nickelodeon. I mean, I liked it. It was okay. And the I, vile debauchery I that is Nickelodeon. I just <laughs> watched uh, I picked this up for our 12 year old son. He has fallen head over heels in love with Pokemon. At one point in time, I was a semi-professional Magic the Gathering player. Mm -hmm. I thought, bingo, two worlds coming together, perfect unity, perfect harmony. He set it down and uh, we'll see. went back upstairs. Okay, we'll see. Because, you know, it was the exact same thing, though, when you got him the Pokemon game for the Switch. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh. Okay, sure. Yeah, and then we it, had to talk him into trying it. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Shelf and now two years. he's obsessed. Yeah. So it's one of those things where at first glance he's not interested, but once you force him to try it out, then he's like, oh wow, this is amazing. Right. And it's the same thing with food. Unfortunately. All right, we picked this up at Game Preserve. We love this game. Yep, expansion for finally, Lost Ruins of Arnak. Finally found the expansion, Expedition Leaders. Not that this game needed an expansion, that game was freaking it's huge. It's huge. But, I got a little completionist in me, a little bit of a collector in me, so. Speaking of that, speaking of expansions, this is one we actually haven't played, but we hope to play with um, the Meeple Society. The Meeple Society on the on video see how that works you should probably play it once before they come over <laughs> ghost stories black secret so this is a cooperative um, game in which I think you're playing ninjas fighting ghosts <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> so yeah I'm I mean, a ninja I think of the shadows 
what else do you need besides ninjas to fight guns? <laughs> I mean, what, what else I gotta say? I, I've already sold 40 copies right there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So. Target had a sale. Target, Target is probably the best big box store mm -hmm. for board games. I mean, Walmart.com has quite a bit, but their in-store selection is a little, mm -hmm. you know, Monopoly heavy. Um, but they had a sale, buy two, get one free. So we picked up some classics that we were missing out of the collection. No, we did not pick these up in the store. We still ordered them online. I still ordered these online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, they had a good selection in the store. Right, yeah. But we wanted to see if it applied also online. Mm -hmm. And, and what games were possible there yeah. and it was a step up mm -hmm. but viticulture this is one i've been wanting to try for a while i yeah. hear so much about it it's a worker placement wine making game i love any kind of worker placement i like wine so there you i mean go. i think it's a good i think well. you have to drink wine when you play that game it gives you bonuses i'm good with that and this one, I have also really wanted to try. I wanted to try this one at Dice Tower Retreat. And mm -hmm. it was one that I had on my list for Dice Tower Retreat, but we didn't get a chance to play it. No. Everdale. Yeah. I mean, you could tell. It's beautiful. All of the awards. Yeah. <laughs> Our it's nominations. It's a beautiful game, though. It, it's, it was very successful. I'm very, very popular. excited to play that one. Another one. <laughs> another one monster. Tom Vassell loves. Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated. So, um. That's a really big box. This is a big box. This is a lot of game. Um, it looks like there's quite this a few is, minis. Yeah, there's a. This is a deck building, I think. Uh, four miniature players, one dragon mini. So there's really not that many minis. No, it's just a bunch of cards and books. 300 plus cards. Sheesh. Yeah. 100 plus tokens, 140 plus cubes. Woo! Oh, it's beefy! <laughs> and normally I don't kickstart games that have already been out and it's just an expansion. Mm -hmm. This one slipped through my, my filtering system and so this game has actually it's been out for a while, I think 2017. Okay. So... Yokai Quest. So this is a cooperative. Um, I think it might be kind of a dungeon crawler. I do like those minis. They're different. It's a different style. Yeah, of the mini. chibi art. Yeah, it's it's sort of the uh, more realistic base. It's ages six to ninety nine. What happens if you're a hundred? You gotta you gotta sell it. Or they come kick your door down. So it came with expansions because it's Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. uh, Mystic Forest and Oni Invasion. Okay. So, what they were kickstarting was literally a rule book. And, um, so that's somewhere. Uh, it's, so, that was the new Kickstarter. I think it took these, added something to it. I ordered this one a long time ago. Okay. So I don't even remember it. Because we've been staying away from dungeon crawlers because we've got so many on the backlog. And never enough time. Lot. There's only so much house here for so much game. We get rid of the kids, we open up massive amounts of storage space Three extra bedrooms. for legacy campaign games. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> I mean, it's right in front of us, staring at us from the steps. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that'll do it. Not many video games. Definitely not 30 packages. We've got a lot of Someone's board games. Someone's exaggerating. I think those, I think that one day that so many came. There were five. Was one Target order that had three games in three separate boxes. Come on Target, get it together, save yourself some shipping. Save okay. me some shipping. And the And I think it had the In Search of Tomorrow. Yeah, and the Kickstarter, right? Well, that was the Kickstarter. Uh, and then maybe one of these two. But again, I ordered 
There were seven packages on our front doorstep when I got home, and they were huge. <laughs> I don't know, five. What happened to the other two? So one was mm -hmm. uh, bags for the pool cover, and then another one was a heater for when we get out of the pool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a whole bunch of unnecessary spending from one of us. I didn't buy the bags for the pool. It came with the pool. They just forgot to give them to us with the pool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, let us know which of these sound interesting to you. Have you bought your son Pokemon trading card game? Did he like it or just put it right back on the shelf as soon as you handed it to him? Did you ever kickstart a game that you think is brand new and cool and that just sends you a book and a bunch of old stuff? Well, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye. coughs> Stack's so big, I gotta walk the other way. Lots of pickups this month. Did you grab your do you nerd shirt because I grab my do you nerd shirt? She's always copying me all the time. All, every joke she gives is a stolen joke of mine. Mm -hmm. Upland Brewery Patio Cat hit me up. <clears throat> Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, I cancel? Cancel, and I'm grown.